In this tutorial I'm going to show you the best, easiest and fastest way to integrate DeepSeq R1 with AI agents in any 10 If you have recently visited DeepSeq's API platform, you probably noticed it's currently down and it's been like that for the past few days. This could be due to a cyber attack, high traffic or who knows what else. Even if you already had an API key before all this happened, you might still run into errors like slow responses times, workflows getting stuck in loops, or random connection issues. I've got a solution that works around these problems and is also way faster and even supports tool usage, which is pretty cool because DeepSeq R1 is designed as a reasoning model. So it was built mainly for complex problem solving tasks. When we are using it through their official API platform, or by using OpenRate, or even self hosting it on your own machine, you will likely run into errors when trying to use tools with your AI agents. I would not recommend using it to call tools directly. You can still get the best out of it by combining it with models that do support tools, like GPT 4.0. Uh, or Claude. Think of DeepSeq R1 as the brains of the operation. It's great at planning, making decisions, while another model takes care of tools based tasks like API calls or data lookups. So, just for the sake of this video, I've created two simple AI agents. In the first one, I've connected DeepSeq R1 through Grok, which is a fast AI inference platform. I will explain how it works and how you can connect to it in just a sec. And in the second agent, I'm using DeepSeq or one through OpenRote. So I'm using the exact same model. So it's called DeepSeq or one Distill Llama 70B. And the same in the second uh, agent as our chat model. In both agents, uh, I have connected two simple tools. One to fetch emails from my Gmail inbox, another to send emails. Okay, now let's test them. I'm going to prompt both agents with the same task. So let's ask the first agent, give me all unread emails from today. So this agent makes API calls to DeepSeq or one through Grok. And as you can see, it successfully fetched all my unread emails. Now let's test the second AI agent, which connects to DeepSeq or one through OpenRote. I prepared a query inside the uh, when clicking test workflow trigger node. So the query is the same. Give me all unread emails from today. So let's test our workflow. And as you can see, we, we've got an error. So if you are using DeepSeq or one by making API calls to the platform, to open Rate or locally and wondering why your tools are not working is not a bug. The model just doesn't support tool functions. So as you can see, no end endpoints found that support tool use. Now how to use DeepSeq R1 through Grok. So to get started with Grok, go to console.grok.com and you will land on this page. So it's a super fast a hosting platform around 10 times faster than most services. They host a lot of models themselves. So click on Dev Console to access the playground. Sign up. Head over to API Keys. 
create a new API key, give it a name, copy it. Now, if you want to learn more about their services and what models they offer, under documentation, click on models and you can see all the models they, are, they host. So we are interested in this one. You can even use their API for free for some time on the free plan, which is great. Now go back to NA10. Let's remove this notes so I can show you from scratch. Add a new chat model. Search for Grok. Grok chat model node. Create new credential. And paste your API key right here. Hit save. Now you'll have access to all the models. So just select DeepSeq R1 Distill Llama 70B. And you are all set. Here is a quick comparison of the DeepSeq R1 70B model when hosted on different platforms, including Grok, uh, OpenRata, and DeepSeq's official API. And for reference, OpenAI's O1 model. When you look at the relative cost, Grok, OpenRata, and DeepSeq's official API are about 25 to 27 times cheaper than OpenAI's O1. So that's a massive difference. And that's pretty much it. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check my other tutorials on how to build powerful AI agents and automation. So stay tuned and see you soon.